Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to take a look at the search option on Windows Phone 7 Mango today. Now let's go ahead and turn the phone on and we can enter search by going to the button down here, search. Now I do have a phone running Nodo that also has search, but it's vastly different and let's take a look at that. So on Nodo we have the option to search. It basically searches the web and then you have the option to speak what you want to search. That's pretty much it. In Mango though, we have the option to talk what we want to search. We also have a visual search. We have a search that listens to music and then we have a search for what's around us. And then if we bring this up, we have history and settings. Now under settings, we have use my location, send location to Microsoft for tags. We can delete our history, get suggestions allow Microsoft to store things, and allow search button from the lock screen. Lots of different options for however we want to do that and allow different sorts of privacy and that, that sort of control for our Windows Phone 7 device. As I've said in previous videos, I've been using this for about a week and I really like it a lot. I'm an iPhone user. I've used iPhones for four years and I find this to be superior in many ways and ahead of the time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this search. Let's hit the home button or what's around us button. And what it's going to do is say what's around here for eat and drink. We have what's around to see and do, to shop, and highlights, which there aren't any nearby. Not a whole lot in the Syracuse area. Let's go ahead and take a look at Panera Bread. If we tap on Panera Bread, it gives us address, directions, phone number, hours, category and their website all right here and it's pretty crazy how fast that is instead of going to a website it's just there i, I find that very convenient reviews uh, this is probably going to take some time to to populate seeing how this is an early build and then again we're back now if i want to call that location all i have to do is tap and we call again we have the same thing for directions or address the address is going to show me where it is in relation to my location if i go back didn't go back to where I wanted, but you get the idea. We'll go to Panera Bread. We also have voice nav navigation based on where we are. If we hit directions, it will just bring us to a map, give us turn-by-turn -turn directions. Down here, we have the option to pin it to the home screen because I like Panera Bread a lot, I guess. And we'll get rid of that. We also have a couple other options. We have this option where we can message this to someone. Hey, I like this. You want to check it out or... You know, they ask you where it is, you can send it via email or, or messaging with Facebook or whatever you want to do. And then we can add it to favorites, which is always nice. And then we can suggest changes, which is um, interesting that they, I don't know if that's just something for the beta or not. So we'll go back and we'll go back again and we'll take a look at a couple other options. So in these options, we have the option to listen to music. Now, unfortunately, due to copyright, I can't really do that, but I think you get the idea. It will search music by the way it sounds and look it up for you. You can also do voice search. So we could say Microsoft.com. It will do its thing. It said Microsoft.com, and here's all the information about it. Same thing, very handy, works really well, it's impressive. Uh, now here's one of the things I find pretty crazy, is here is the Peanuts Guide to Life. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and pull this back. Let's zoom the camera out a little bit and go to Visual Search. Now we have a couple options here, which are incredible to me, but let's go ahead and We'll search it, and as you can see, it's bringing up the book here locally on the, on the display, and it's going to give us the price, the description. We've got reviews, prices where we can buy it, all built into the phone. And when I discovered that, I, I was kind of blown away, and anyone I've demoed that to, it's very impressive. And we've got other options for where it is and that sort of thing. Now that we've scanned the book, maybe we want to scan the text because we don't understand a word that might be on here. Uh, because we speak another language. So it's sensed all the different words, and with that option, I can copy all those words and put them in a document, or I can translate those words to say I speak French. All of those words just translated to French so that I could read those. I find this pretty amazing. Now, I've seen apps that do this before on iPhone, but this is all built in to the operating system in the search feature. 
I just find this pretty amazing that it, it actually has this capability. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. And we'll go back home, we'll hit search. So as you can see, everything's nice and quick, it's fast, does a great job of that, and I couldn't be more impressed with its search functionality as far as locations go and everything else. Let's do one more voice search, and this time we'll search for something local, see if it can find it. So we'll search for the closest target. Find the closest target. It will listen, it'll translate, and it understood what I said, and it's going to search the web. Let's see if it finds local. Now I know some of these uh, searches are based on databases that aren't active yet. So let's go ahead and find images. It found images of the Target store. It's pretty amazing how easy it works and everything that's integrated into the OS. Now that Apple is a big competitor, you're not gonna have the monopoly stuff coming against Microsoft when it comes to the phone market because now they can incorporate everything. I know there's a lot of apps that do this sort of thing on Android and iPhone, but in this case, it's just very impressive how fast and fluid everything works. And I know a lot of people don't like Bing search, but I haven't had any complaints on this phone. And it works really well, the visual search and everything like that. It's just very impressive to me what it can do. And this says scan QR codes, Microsoft tags, books, CDs, and DVDs, and it will do the same thing for anything you, you look up. It's really very good and, and I'm very impressed, and maybe they'll even tweak it a little bit more before it comes out public release. But I just wanted to do a quick overview and show you what this has, and that's just search, what they've done to with Windows Phone 7 Mango. I'm very impressed. Uh, let me know what you think below, and, and if you're as impressed as I am, or if you think it's you'd never use it, or that sort of thing, please feel free to comment below and let me know what you think about it, because I'm impressed, but maybe you're not, and you use Android, and you found a way that it, you think it works better. Comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.